Our eyes are often referred to as the windows to the soul, reflecting our emotions, thoughts, and overall health. They play a crucial role in our daily lives, allowing us to experience and interact with the world around us. Our vision is a, is a window to our brain. Our vision is a sense that we prize the most. Um, you know, if you lost your sense of smell, yeah, you know, you're probably okay with it. Like you had a cold, you start losing your vision. All of a sudden, like that sets off panic. And so of our eyes is beautifully encapsulated in various sayings and quotes that highlight their significance. Helen Keller, who was blind and deaf, once said, the only thing worse than being blind is having sight, but no vision. This powerful statement emphasizes the value of not only physical sight, but also the vision and insight that guide our lives. Our eyes are invaluable, providing us with the ability to see, perceive, and understand the world. They not only facilitate our daily activities, but also connect us to others on a deeper emotional level. As we get older, the risk of developing eye diseases like glaucoma, macular degeneration, and cataracts goes up. It's not just the big stuff either. Many of us also deal with dry, irritated, and itchy eyes or eye strain from staring at phones and computers all day. There's also something called retinopathy, which is nerve damage in the eyes. If we don't get enough essential vitamins and minerals, the tiny nerves and blood vessels in our eyes can get damaged, leading to poor eyesight and various eye diseases. And blood vessels are connecting every single organ in your body, uh, from your mouth to your brain, to your eyes, to your heart, to your lung, your livers. And so the idea of food being something, our nutrients being delivered from what we eat through our bloodstream to our eye is absolutely vital for the ongoing health of our vision and to prevent vision loss. And I'll come back to that. But here's the good news. Certain vitamins can help improve your eye health. They can repair and protect your eyes and keep them well lubricated so they stay bright and shiny. Our eyes allow us to be independent. As we get older, we all want to be independent. We want to do our own thing. Can't see. You can't be independent. You can't even take your own medicines, right? And if you need, if you need them as an older person. So protecting vision was a big priority. So what was discovered is that there are dietary supplements that are made of the same things you can find in foods zeaxanthin, lutein, carotenoids, okay, and I'll come to the foods in a second, that when given to people in their 60s and 70s and 80s can dramatically reduce the risk of vision loss from macular degeneration. Amazing, right? So here's a... In today's video, we'll be talking about these eye-friendly vitamins. When I say vitamins, I'm including not just vitamins, but also antioxidants, minerals, and enzymes that can boost your eye health. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only. If you have any medical concerns, please talk to your doctor. Lutein and zeaxanthin, powerful carotenoids for eye health. Lutein and zeaxanthin are two powerful carotenoids that play crucial roles in maintaining eye health. Lutein is an essential plant chemical that helps your retina capture light and color, sending these signals to your brain so you can see clear images. Zeaxanthin, on the other hand, helps prevent macular degeneration, central vision loss, and cataracts that may develop with age. It builds a light filter in the back of your eye, protecting the eye tissues from UV damage from sunlight. To ensure you get enough of these carotenoids, include vegetables like kale, collard greens, romaine lettuce, Swiss chard, peppers, squash, broccoli, and egg yolks in your diet. If you prefer supplements, I recommend taking 1-2 teaspoons of moringa powder each day. Moringa powder, made from the dried leaves of the moringa oleifera plant, is one of the richest sources of carotenoids, providing excellent protection for your eyesight as you age. If you find this information useful, please like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications to stay updated with new health and nutrition tips. The stuff in errants is really, you know, some vitamins, there's lutein, there's zeaxanthin. These are, these chemicals that I just mentioned, zeaxanthin and lutein, these are natural chemicals that mother late nature has laced into foods. What are some of the foods? Watercress, kale, broccoli, red bell peppers, uh, persimmons, 
uh, 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 tomatoes. You get these same type of natural bioactives just from the foods that we can eat. So, you know, this whole idea of plant-based foods, which is a generalization. Retinol, active vitamin A. Retinol, the active form of vitamin A, is found in egg yolks, butter, cheese, cod liver oil, and organ meats. This nutrient is crucial for eye health, as it helps your eyes produce tears, keeping them lubricated and protected from external damage. Retinol also aids in night vision, preventing night blindness and reducing irritation from bright lights, such as when driving. One of the best ways to nourish your eyes with active vitamin A is by taking one teaspoon of raw virgin cod liver oil daily. Regular consumption can alleviate dryness, bloodshot eyes, and the gritty feeling often experienced in the corners of the eyes. Zinc, the eye's essential mineral. Did you know that your eyes contain high levels of zinc? This essential antioxidant mineral plays a crucial role in building visual pigments in your retina, allowing you to see clear images in color. Zinc also activates vitamin A, retinol, which is vital for proper vision, especially at night. However, whenever you sustain an injury, fall ill, or experience inflammation, your body uses up its zinc stores to aid in healing. As we age, we often encounter various ailments that deplete our zinc levels, consequently impairing our eyesight. A deficiency in zinc increases the risk of macular degeneration and the development of cataracts, cloudy lenses of the eye. To lower these risks, you can boost your zinc intake by eating oysters, crab meat, mussels, shrimp, and pumpkin seeds. Alternatively, you may take a supplement of 30 mg of zinc chelate per day. Food as medicine is something that we do for ourselves. It's very empowering that we can actually, you know, use knowledge, modern knowledge, to be able to make those daily decisions that can actually help prevent disease so you don't need. Number four on our list is vitamin B1, specifically in the form called benfodiamine. When you consume sugar, refined flour, or grains, your blood sugar levels increase, which depletes your vitamin B1 stores. Without sufficient vitamin B1, the protective coating around your nerves, myelin, can become damaged. Since your eyes and optic nerve contain up to 1.7 million nerve fibers, they are particularly susceptible to damage from high blood sugar levels and junk food consumption. This can lead to a condition called retinopathy, which is especially common as we age, particularly in individuals with diabetes or prediabetes. To repair the nerves in your eyes and prevent further damage, you can take benfodiamine, a fat-soluble version of vitamin B1. A recommended dosage is 300 mg twice per day. Benfodiamine penetrates through the fat layers of your brain and nervous system, nourishing the nerves so they can heal. I hope you are enjoying the video so far. I know there's a lot of information to absorb, so feel free to pause, rewind, and take notes whenever you need to have healthy blood vessels, very good circulation. Our vision is actually good. When we've got good circulation in our brain, our cognition is actually good. And guess what happens when we start to have problems with our vision? The most common causes of vision loss and cognitive loss is actually interference with the circulation of both our eyes and our brain. Not surprisingly, both are in our heads and our skull connected to each other. And so this, you know, sort of like what feeds the brain feeds the eye. What ails the brain also can ail the eye as well. So let's, you know, use that as kind of a jumping off point to thinking about what research is teaching us. Coming up next at number five are vitamins B2 and B3. These vitamins play powerful roles in protecting and restoring damaged tissues and nerves in the eye. Vitamin B3, also known as niacin, has been shown to help prevent glaucoma, a common eye condition where pressure and fluid build up in the eye. Meanwhile, vitamin B2, or riboflavin, reduces the risk of developing cataracts and macular degeneration. To boost your intake of these essential B vitamins, consume one to two tablespoons of nutritional yeast each day. This is one of the best sources of B vitamins. Additionally, you can increase your B vitamin intake by eating salmon, leafy green vegetables, and eggs. That the foods that actually can be used to protect the approach, 
protect that carpet of neurons that interlace with blood vessels, keeping those blood vessels healthy, taming those abnormal blood vessels, also turn out to be protective for the brain as well. And so here is sort of a twofer, right? Uh, you were talking about like uh, uh, the, the, the eye and the brain uh, being uh, outside of the skull. Here's a better way to think about it. The brain, like your skull, is really a two-level house, okay? The brain is on the upstairs, on the second floor, and underneath the brain, underneath the floor, which is the bottom part of the skull housing your brain, on the first floor are your eyes. So the part of your brain that's on the first floor are your eyes, and then you go walk upstairs, and now the brain's right there. And so this connection just like in your house, of the circuitry and the circulation between your eyes and your brain suddenly makes sense. And what we eat can be good for the brain, good for the nerves, and what's good for the brain, the blood vessels and the nerves in the brain. Next on the list are bile salts and digestive enzymes. Bile is an important liquid made by your liver and released by your gallbladder when you eat. It helps your stomach break down and digest fatty foods and it aids in the absorption of fat-soluble nutrients like vitamin A, lutein, and zeaxanthin, which are essential for healthy eyes. However, if you have a fatty liver, gallbladder problems, acid reflux, indigestion, IBS, or other digestive issues, you may not be releasing enough bile. This is a common issue, especially in people over the age of 50. Insufficient bile makes it difficult for your body to absorb essential nutrients for your eyes. To increase the flow of bile, consider taking two digestive enzyme capsules before each meal. Make sure to choose a brand that contains bile salts. By actually taming blood vessels remarkably for people who have lost vision, we can actually, in some cases, reverse vision loss and restore loss. Now that you are aware of the nutrients needed to nourish your eyes, Let's explore some additional lifestyle tips that you may use to take care of your eyes. Apply a blue light filter app on your phone, PC, and tablets. Screens contain LEDs that emit blue light, which is harmful to your retina. Blue light is a short, high-energy wave that can cause photochemical damage and irritate your eyes. Blue light filter applications or blue light blocking glasses help to avoid this. Take a walk in nature at least once per day, staring into the distance whenever you can, such as at the sky or distant objects. This helps to relax the small muscles in your eyes, reducing inflammation and preventing the lenses from changing shape over time. Astigmatism. Drink at least one liter of mineral water each day to stay hydrated. This simple trick helps you produce healthier tears, which coat the surface of your eye to protect it from the harsh environment. Following these key steps and getting more of the nutrients shared in this video will have a powerful effect on healing and protecting your eyes. What can we actually do to help protect it? And this is where diet comes in because our nutrition can help us keep blood vessels healthy and they can also help to tame those um, blood vessels that might think about acting up. And that's really where uh, eating to beat vision loss is a reality today. To learn more about the eyes and the brain, tap here. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I wish you great health, wealth, and happiness.